how do you remember? No, they feel me, oh no, 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 no. Your love distress me, discaress me, me no like it when we fight it. Hey, welcome to another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below to stay tuned for some more content, hair videos, anything from me. Today's video is sponsored by Fayasu Store on Amazon. Make sure you click that link in the description below to get you some 36 inch soft locks. What? Here's everything that you're gonna need to perfect this hairstyle. Get it at your local beauty supply. And let's get started with the video. So I'm starting off my hair unwashed because I just took it out of braids for my last hairstyle. We're gonna part the back of your head with three parts first and you're gonna braid them up. Braid it up, braid it up, braid it up, braid it up. Um, I wish I could actually really braid that fast, but in reality it did not take that long. But you guys look, my parts are like straight. If you're if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, like whoa. <laughs> so you're gonna start the lock off opening the top of it into like a little circle then you're gonna crochet it into your braid and then you're gonna basically put the lock into the braid and kind of just tie it up knot it up just like you're tying a shoelace make sure it's nice and tight perfect then you're gonna take some of the springy twist hair and you're also gonna crochet that in um, what you guys are gonna notice in the what you guys are gonna notice sorry for the stuttering but what you're, what you're gonna notice in the future of the video is that I ended up not crocheting it because it's it actually kind of hurt when I did that you probably couldn't even see my face or anything but just to ease the tension from your head I actually would not recommend crocheting in that twist hair so stay tuned for another method that I actually came up with that worked for me so you're, what you're really doing is wrapping 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 all that around to basically hide the braid and have it kind of just in tune with the lock extension and then you're just gonna take some shit ah you're gonna take some shine jam not shea butter I was gonna say shea butter and do that so here's some of the locks already i've kind of been just parting as i go as opposed to parting before i found that this was actually a little bit more helpful so let me let me let me be quiet so you're just gonna wrap 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 it up as you can see um I've seen other lock styles where the wrapping of the pre-twist is way cleaner than what it is. I kind of wanted that like thicker look, but you know, to each his own, whatever you're comfortable with. So here's a little bit more detail on how I attach the pre-twist so I'm gonna take a little bit of it right and I'm gonna take my left hand and wrap it wrap the little part and then I'm gonna go around the opposite way with the longer part and wrap it to cover it if that makes sense it's so hard to explain it but if you know since you're watching it it's a little bit visually explanatory for you all um feel free to skip towards a little bit of the end of the video i'm also going to time stamp it in the description on where exactly you need to watch to really figure out how to get that to get the pre-twist secure without crocheting it so just stay tuned for that but let me <laughs> let me actually just 
I need to say one thing. I am so sorry for not being consistent on YouTube. Life happens and I really needed a break. And I just want to say this to all my ladies. Don't let anything discourage you from doing what you want to do. Because you're going to be like me and then turn around, look at what you've created and be like, oh my gosh. I've been away for this long, what's wrong? And it actually took me a really long time to get back to doing YouTube videos because I just didn't know if I was going to get the same reaction, same type of views, but honestly, I just came back because I needed to do my hair and also this sponsorship needed to be seen as well. And you guys need to know when the new locks are available to order on Amazon like <laughs> what but yeah I just for anyone that's even out there listening and you're as far into the video right now and listening to my rant do not give up on yourself like look at that if you watch my videos in the past my party was never this perfect it also did not take that long for me to do this hairstyle and this is my second time doing locks on myself like this was super duper easy okay so this is the part where i was talking about where it's really detailed on the twist you see how i kind of just did like a little an inch of the pre twist strand here the springy here and then i twisted it around the knot at the end of the braid and then I'm gonna use the rest of the hair to basically cover it and wrap it the opposite way and then you're just gonna go keep on wrapping it up until the braids covered and you know keep on scooping up some of that shine jam to make sure that it's good and clean and crisp but you know if you're like me don't use a lot of shine jam so it can look as dirty as you want it to be because I feel like with lock styles it has to have that I don't know not 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 dirty but like it has to look a little bit rough in my sense like what's the point of having locks if they're just so crisp and clean and I don't really like that crisp and clean look when you have locks like it needs to it needs to look like locks, like naturally look like locks, not look like someone just really just, oh, let me make sure that it's like parted cleanly. But you know, like I said, tweet it so. <laughs> so um, yeah, another good tip as well, as you've been seeing is at the end, I would actually rub the springy hair around with the lock and it'll actually kind of blend with the lock. So that's a really key thing to do if your hair is just like at the end not cooperating just rub it rub it like you're rubbing two sticks together <laughs> but yeah back to my little rant back to my little rant because i feel like i don't make these videos that long anyways for me to even talk to you guys and let you know um what's on my mind or to just relate but like i was saying if you're somebody out there listening and you've been struggling on taking the initiative to do something that you want to do like content creation or make a video of you doing your hair or just putting yourself out there let this be the indication to do it right now and after you watch this video i need you to tag me in whatever content you created after hearing my motivation because that's just what it is it's all about support it's all about inspiring other people to be themselves and be great like we're living in such a world where I feel like everyone's in competition everyone's trying to do the same thing everyone's trying to be the next one up when it's like no why is everyone for themselves everyone wants to be more than there for each other but you know that's 
that's an indication that I don't even want to get into that. But yes, you guys will be getting more vlogs as well starting on Sunday. So make sure you check that out. Put on my notifications so you know when the next video is dropping. And thank you so much to anybody who's been supporting my shorts as well. And your girl also just dropped a new song, as you can hear from the beginning of this video. A um, big shout out to Friction and Jeffrey King out in Ghana. Yes, definitely brought this on there. Got a sweet collab while I was there in July. Oh, and by the way, make sure you check out my blog that's coming on Sunday because I will be putting in some clips of my trip to Ghana again. So watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> But yeah, so we're actually kind of towards the end of the video. We're just wrapping, wrapping. You see what I, I mean right there? It's like a little rough right there. Like a little, it kind of makes it look like it's a butterfly lock, but it's not. And I kind of wanted that look because the last time I did locks were butterfly lock extensions. And I've always wondered, I was like, how would they get that little that little extra hair to just stick out and then I realized while me twisting for the first time you just don't try to make it look clean and it comes out looking cute so we're on the last piece of hair you guys oh my god this is so beautiful I'm, actually, I'm proud of myself you guys this is just it's crazy it's crazy how dedication and perseverance can take you in such a I don't know I don't even want to say short time like this is crazy how this happened so this is the and look look at look at those parts I'm sorry this is crazy like crazy good look at that yes and length check length check <laughs> make sure you guys follow me on tiktok oh my gosh i've been getting so many compliments about this as well at work while i'm just walking we're going to the store it's just so beautiful let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you like comment and subscribe see you in the next video